hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome part of the new subscribers road to 600 subscribers i'm so excited thank you so much for subscribing if you're a new subscriber if you're watching for the first time welcome please do stay and subscribe become part of the family we are going strong um we're gonna reach a thousand subscribers very soon i am so excited we are currently on as I'm shooting this, 595. I hope by next week we'll be on. By the time this video goes up, we'll be on 600 subscribers. I'm so excited, guys. We are road to 1,000 subscribers, and I have been thinking maybe I should do a giveaway for 1,000 subscribers. So once we reach 1,000 subscribers, there's gonna be a giveaway. I will tell you guys about the giveaway in my next video. So once we're like 1,000 subscribers y'all know i will i will give you the details okay but thank you guys so much for subscribing and i love you so so much as you can see from the title of the video today's video is a q a i posted on my instagram and on the communities tab here on youtube for you guys to ask me anything you want to know because the last time i did a q a was my very first video on youtube which is like over a year ago and now there's like 590 9500 what i can't count <laughs> there is now 595 of us so i know you might have questions that you need answered and so on and so forth so i give you the opportunity to ask me anything i like i didn't have any like restrictions ask me anything and i answer your questions i didn't get a lot of questions so if you missed it and there's still something you want to know please ask in the comments i'll either answer in the comments or if i feel like i need to elaborate further i will answer it in any of the videos that are going to come up so first question if i could only choose one which would i choose between photography and videography if you don't follow me on instagram please follow um, you would know that if you follow me, you would know that I love taking pictures. I actually have a photography page link in the description. Um, and I've been taking pictures for years now. I usually like for the longest time I was taking pictures with my phone. But one of the reasons why I bought this camera and like specifically this camera was because I wanted to do both photography and videography and yeah so i really really love taking pictures and videos i really really love taking videos so if i were to choose one although i love them both and you know a picture tells a thousand words but i would choose videography i absolutely love videography editing those type of things i think videography you can get to see like how you were feeling in that moment how you were acting the things you were saying you can reflect on like the things that were happening like five years ago looking at a video of you from five years ago so i really like seeing how i was in a moment and what things i was saying what things i was doing how i was feeling and how i was projecting myself which is why i really really enjoy videos i still love photos but if i were to choose one gun to my head videography next question how was your msc my msc was good like you guys know i always complain about honors <laughs> i feel like that's that's a part of my brand i always complain about honors but msc was actually really really good it was very challenging in a different way um i was very nervous going into it because you know undergrad you have people around you honors you have people around you and then masters you're all alone although technically you're not alone because you have people you can talk to if you choose to talk to them and you have your supervisor but because a majority of the work is your work and it's individual you've spent a lot of time alone so i was kind of nervous thinking will i be able to do it oh my gosh i won't have like my friends working on the same thing as me yada 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 but i actually enjoyed it because i'm actually a very independent person i enjoy working alone i never enjoyed group work ever um so having to do my own thing my own way in my own time was great so msc amazing highly recommend so many good memories and the fact that i was able to like film my field work and stuff like that like like if you watch my videos you literally go through 
my msc with me speaking of which i'm actually editing <laughs> my draft so i'm in the final moments of my msc because i am currently editing my complete like the complete draft of my msc with all of my chapters and i'm gonna be submitting soon i'm very excited soon i will be a graduate i'm so excited to finish school guys you have no idea next question how many books did you end up reading this year let's actually go to goodreads for this because i keep forgetting so i have read 27 books i have read i have like right now i have read 27 books which is crazy as you can see which is bonkers because my goal was 20 books and i put 20 books because i was like like i haven't been much of a reader in the past years so i put 20 books just to say you know it's not too it's not a big goal it's not a big elephant that you won't be able to defeat but it's also not too small to be like nah, it's nothing it's not really a challenge but the fact that i'm on 27 and and i'm currently reading this book um it's the answers for me by kaya Langa. if you watched my 44 second vlog <laughs> you know i went to the bookshop last week and well the week before that and i bought the book um and i've been wanting the book because i read the previous one which was called oh what was it called these things really do happen to me so i read that one i loved it when i heard that this one came out i had to have it so by the end of the year i would have read 28 if i decide if i don't decide to read another one after this one because we still have three weeks to go so you never know i might read 30 but for now if i'm counting this one i'm currently reading is 28 books next question plans for next year zero absolutely nothing i have no plan <laughs> i have no plans and please guys like please don't ask me are you gonna look for a job are you gonna work i'm not gonna answer those questions you can ask me anything don't ask me anything regarding looking for jobs or anything like that i remember i said in that other chit chat video when i was in the car a couple of months ago i was like like i just want to finish school and live and enjoy life and just relax and not have submissions looming over me and not have deadlines like so next year i'm just gonna live my life and do all the things that i've been wanting to do but never had time to do i'm just gonna eat my youth that's my plan for next year are you dating anyone no do you have cousins or brothers and stuff i'm joking please no mm -mm. <laughs> i'm not dating anyone i'm not interested i'm cool okay um tips for a second year a student so i'm assuming you asked this question and you're probably in third year like you've passed okay you've passed um but tips for a second year a third year any type of student especially in undergrad doing apes specifically um don't rely on your lecture material only what i did in undergrad was if i was doing a certain type of topic i would look for all material surrounding that topic because it gives you a wider range of an understanding it exposes you way more like to way more types of definitions that are available you understand something way better if you're exposed to a lot of it so go to the library search for books about that topic search online if you're in apes you know that most of our things are based on research so we read a lot of scientific scientific papers so download as many papers as you can expose yourself to like what people are doing in the field how they explain it in their research read 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 i feel like that's the only tip i can give you like read as much material as you can get your hands on google go to youtube watch videos of people simplifying a topic explaining what globalization is for example because i remember I did globalization at some point so ask for help don't pretend like you know the one mistake i used to do in um in undergrad was to just 
write notes copy what's on like the projector and then be like nah, i will understand this later you never do so ask questions if you don't understand something ask the lecturer to clarify ask for help from your tas be like dude um i don't understand how to do this can you please like you know those are the tips i can give you because like there's no hack there's really no hack to this thing because most of the things we do in apes it's not like there's only one right answer you need to substantiate your answer you need to explain how you arrived at a certain answer you need to show your understanding for something so you need to read as much as you can next question which apps did you use in undergrad apart from lecture material i did not use any apps are there any apps <laughs> that people use if there are apps i never knew about them which is why i never used anything so i just read i just um also download past question papers to see how they ask questions not necessarily which questions they will ask but how do they phrase their questions and how do they expect you to answer certain type of questions because what i know is at wits they they like they have a point system so you need to say a certain point or you need to say certain things certain phrases in your answer there are certain things they expect you to know about a topic if you're gonna talk about globalization they like the first one they might want a definition and then they might want you to explain how it works how it came about and those type of things so I feel like yeah that's all I can say um the last question what is your favorite subject to photograph <laughs> so i'm actually not a big fan even though i like photographing people the thing with me i don't like doing like headshots or portraits where the person is looking at the camera i don't understand why i prefer taking pictures of people it's weird i enjoy taking pictures of people when they're not looking at the camera i don't like taking pictures of people looking at the camera so usually when i take pictures of people i'm like look there <laughs> i don't want to see your face it's not like that but I just find it like the pictures way more interesting if the person is not looking at, at the camera if their attention is taken by something else if I'm taking a picture from behind those are the pictures I enjoy that are interesting to me but that is not the answer to the question to answer the question the subject I enjoy taking pictures of as buildings architecture I don't know i just enjoy architecture especially on campus because east campus is like old kind of architecture and then west campus is like modern type of architecture i like photographing the two campuses and seeing the contrast i would insert pictures of like east campus here and then photos of west campus so you can see the difference but i really really enjoy photographing buildings um, especially from different perspectives that you don't normally see pictures taken from like from like from the bottom up or from a certain angle like it's just very interesting architecture is beautiful so I enjoy taking pictures of buildings that is it if there is any other questions you want to ask because not a lot of people ask me questions actually um, if there's anything you want to know I will do a Q&A in a couple of months I guess Drop me your questions, I will keep them and I, I will answer them. Or I will answer them as I vlog and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited for 600 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please give it a like. Comment down below anything you want to know. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.